Amma arrived in Tokyo, marking the start of a three-day program in Shinjuku. This visit followed a 40-day tour across eight cities in North America. Thousands gathered to welcome Amma, their hearts filled with joy after five long years of anticipation. Amma was warmly received by Sri Sibi George, the Indian ambassador to Japan, and his wife. In his welcome address, Sri George highlighted Amma's role in bridging the East and West through her message of love and peace. He emphasized that her life is a testament to the ideal, Manavaseva is Madhavaseva. Service to humanity is service to God. During the event, Amma inaugurated Prime Minister Narendra Modi's tree planting campaign, Ek Ped Ma Ke Naam, with a symbolic and heartfelt gesture of planting a sapling. Throughout the three days, Amma conducted meditation sessions, prayers for world peace, and uplifting bhajans. Despite the long hours, Amma continued to offer her motherly embrace to all who attended, including Japanese celebrity Dewi Sukarno. The program concluded with a joyous Baduga Nance by Amma's Japanese devotees. With this, Amma's 2024 tour of the US and Japan gracefully concluded. In a heartwarming initiative, teams of volunteer ophthalmologists, optometrists, and nurses from Spain are bringing sight back to communities in sub-Saharan Africa. In collaboration with the Spanish NGO, Visio Sonsa Fronteras, these medical professionals visited Kenya, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Cameroon to perform cataract surgeries in some of the most impoverished and remote areas. Over the past year, they operated on 842 patients and screened over 2,850 people. Local health workers and volunteers play a crucial role by visiting slums and tribal areas two weeks in advance. They identify patients and arrange surgery locations, often in hospitals, dispensaries, or community centers. Once the Spanish teams arrive, they work tirelessly for up to 14 hours a day, often joining forces with local doctors to maximize their impact. This initiative, inspired by Amma, began in 2011. As of today, they have performed more than 9,100 procedures and provided over 36,600 pairs of eyeglasses. The teams have also traveled to Burkina Faso and Zambia. In a poignant moment at Amritapuri Ashram, Thumban, a beloved dog and faithful child of Amma, passed away. He lived over 20 years in the ashram as a true spiritual aspirant. Amma herself performed Thumban's last rites, a ceremony filled with her eternal love and compassion. The sight was both heart-rendering and spiritually uplifting, as Amma's children expressed their deep love and gratitude for everything Thumban taught them. Swami Amrita Swarupanandapuri, Amma's most senior disciple, shared in Thumban's obituary that he was an extraordinary example for all living perfectly in accordance with ashram dharma. Thumban taught many individuals lessons of obedience to the Guru, embodying the very essence of devotion. Independence Day was celebrated with great enthusiasm, respect, and community spirit in Amritapuri. Swami Vedamritanandapuri hoisted the national flag and distributed prasad. As part of the ceremony, the 221st Battalion CRPF officers and Kerala police, who are currently serving at the ashram, rendered a salute, enhancing reverence and gratitude to Bharat Mata. To express their love, ashram residents and volunteers came together for a mass cleaning as a commitment to selfless service. International visitors joyfully took part, feeling blessed to help care for this ancient land that has shared the message since time immemorial. Vasudeva Kutumbakam, the whole world is one family. Overall, the day exemplified the ashram's dedication to maintaining a compassionate and peaceful environment, reflecting the broader values of unity and diversity that are central to its mission. Janmashtami was celebrated with immense devotion and joy at Amritapuri Ashram. Honoring the life and teachings of Sri Krishna, Amma shared profound insights, describing Krishna as a complete incarnation of the Divine, who embraced every moment with a smile, spreading happiness and wisdom to all. The festivities were marked by heartfelt prayers and bhajans, 
with a deep sense of harmony among the devotees. The highlight came at midnight, the sacred hour of Krishna's birth, when everyone gathered with Amma in the bhajan hall. She shared her vision about the beauty of his life, an embodiment of Vedantic principles, and an interpretation of the dharma that befitted the age. Interaction with Bhagavan became a yoga, divine union for everyone. The day also featured traditional customs, including Gopuja, the game of Uriyadi, and children dressing as Krishna and Gopis. The events filled the ashram with vibrant colors and joyous energy. The Integrated Amrita Meditation Technique I Am 20 Stress Management Leaders Workshop was organized by Amrita University in Goa. Training took place for the staff at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Goa and senior executives of the Dempo Group in Panaji. Led by certified IAM instructor Brahmacharini Vagishamrita Chaitanya, the workshop introduced participants to the 20-minute version, which is designed for people with busy lives. Attendees, including managers, executives, and professionals from various departments, praised the workshop for its profound impact, describing feelings of relaxation, focus, and rejuvenation. The success of the event highlighted the importance of incorporating IM20 into daily routines to enhance well-being in high-pressure environments like hospitality and corporate sectors. In 2003, Amma launched the IM technique worldwide as a short and simple approach to meditation that anyone can learn. Today, it is practiced by thousands and is renowned for its effectiveness in fostering spiritual growth and holistic health. Pragati College in Raipur, Chhattisgarh, recently hosted a self-management workshop for Bachelor of Education students, focusing on essential skills for their future teaching careers. Brahmacharini Amritatmika Chaitanya and Brahmacharini Nisima from Amrita University conducted the event. It aimed to equip aspiring educators with tools for self-regulation, stress management, and reflective practices. Dr. Somya Nayar, principal of the college, welcomed the delegates and praised the enthusiasm of the participants. The event featured insights into leadership, an introduction to Ayudh, the ashram's youth wing, videos showcasing Amma's global humanitarian initiatives, and Amrita University's technology projects aligned with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The workshop received positive feedback for its practical approach to preparing students for the challenges of teaching. The Ayudh Home Connect program was organized by Ms. Priya Salyan, a core Ayudh member. At her home in Bayandar, Mumbai, the event welcomed new Ayudhians into the community with an evening of Amma's Ashtotaram chanting, soulful bhajans and satsang led by Brahmacharanis from Amritpuri Ashram. Together, they created a spiritually uplifting atmosphere, bringing together youth and elders in a shared devotion. Inspirational talks highlighted Amma's teachings her global humanitarian projects, and the true purpose of life. As well, interactive sessions encouraged the young people to think outside the box and explore ideas for making the world a better place. Participants, like Nishant Shetty, expressed their gratitude for the inspiring experience. They all eagerly anticipate a Darshan. Ayud members in Ahmedabad recently volunteered at a blood donation camp organized by RSS at Amrita Vidyalayam. The Ayudians showed remarkable dedication, not only by donating blood, but also by taking on various roles throughout the camp, from registration to serving refreshments to donors. The event was a powerful demonstration of community spirit, fostering unity and a commitment to service among all participants. Shubham Rao, a core Ayud member, expressed his satisfaction in contributing to such a noble cause, especially as this was his first blood donation experience since turning 18. He looks forward to making this a yearly tradition. Alalita Sahasranama Yagnya and Vishwashanti Praya were organized by the Koyalandi Satsang Samiti at Amrita Vidyalayam Korakord. The event was led by prominent spiritual personalities, including Swami Purnamrathanandapuri, General Secretary of Mata Amritanamai Mat and other dignitaries from various Mat branches. The Agnya featured several sacred rituals, including Navagraha Homam, Mahamrityunjaya Homam, and Danvantri Homam, among others, drawing a large gathering of devotees. 
The event was a powerful expression of collective prayer for world peace, uniting participants in devotion and spirituality. The Amma Center in Saint Louis, Reunion Island, hosted a Vilak Puja on Saturday, August 31st, 2024. Swami Yogamrathanandapuri led the gathering, which was graced by the presence of Her Worship Madam Juliana, Mayor of Saint Louis, and Honorable Sri Bhupendra Singh, General Consul of India. The following day, Sunday, September 1st, 2024, an integrated Amrita meditation IAM session was conducted at Kandar Hall, Saint Denis. The meditation brought participants together for a peaceful and spiritually enriching experience. The events highlighted the growing interest in Amma's teachings and meditation practices in Reunion, an island in the Indian Ocean that is an overseas department and region of France. Amrita Vishwavidyapitam, a leading multidisciplinary university in India, has been ranked seventh among the top universities in the country by the National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF 2024. This marks the eighth consecutive year that Amrita has placed in the top 10, underscoring its consistent excellence in higher education. The university is also the youngest to achieve this distinction, having been founded in 2003. Amrita School of Medicine has also earned a spot among the top 10 medical colleges, securing the eighth rank. In addition, the Amrita School of Pharmacy and Amrita School of Dentistry have been ranked 13th and 14th in their respective categories. The Vice-Chancellor, Dr. P. Venkat Rangan, attributed this success to Amma's visionary leadership as Chancellor, alongside the dedicated efforts of the university's faculty and students. Amrita University has unveiled an innovative system based on artificial intelligence to monitor and reduce conflicts between wild elephants and humans in forest-adjacent areas. Developed by Ammachi Labs, the Amrita Elephant Watch Alert system uses AI-powered cameras and sensors to track elephant movements in real time. When the animals are detected, cameras installed on trees in high-risk areas send instant alerts, including photos and videos to nearby residents. The system, which has been successfully tested near Coimbatore, aims to provide early warnings and prevent dangerous encounters. The ninth campus of Amrita University was officially inaugurated on August 22nd in Nagakoil, Tamil Nadu. Union Minister L. Murugan led the event. He highlighted India's rapid progress in education, research and employment noting the surge in startups and the country's emergence as a global industrial hub. Swami Ramakrishnan Dupuri, treasurer of Mata Amrita Namaimat, also addressed the gathering. He emphasized the importance of inner development for success. The Nagakoil campus marks a significant expansion for Amrita. It will offer BTEC programs in computer science, artificial intelligence, and electronics and communications. The master's level in engineering includes M-Tech Computer Science and Engineering and M-Tech Manufacturing and Automation. Amrita University's Coimbatore campus was immersed in the joyous celebrations of Gokulashtami that took place on August 23rd, 24th and 26th. The campus came alive with festive spirit as students and staff collaborated to create a dynamic and colorful atmosphere. The celebrations featured a wide range of activities, including insightful talks, traditional Chenda Milan performances, and energetic dances. These cultural expressions, led by the university's talented students, have filled the campus with vibrancy and joy. This year's Gokulashtami celebrations became an unforgettable experience for all participants. Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitam celebrated its 27th graduation day at the Amritapuri campus, with 2,167 students receiving degrees in fields like engineering, biotechnology, and Ayurveda. Professor Bhushan Patwardhan emphasized the need for balancing technology and deep study in his keynote address. The Kochi campus hosted its 26th convocation, where 450 students graduated. University Chancellor Mata Amritanandamai shared an inspiring message urging graduates to serve society selflessly. Chief guest Loknath Behera and guest of honor Dr. B. Ashok also addressed the graduates on the importance of innovation 
and the transformative power of education. At the Coimbatore campus, the 21st Convocation saw 2,040 graduates, with Professor Abhay Karandikar highlighting the role of science, technology and entrepreneurship in India's future. The ceremonies concluded with awarding top achievers and celebrating the university's value-based education, blending science and spirituality. Amrita University has inaugurated its new Centre for Sculpture and Painting in Poonkalam, Tiruvananthapuram. The inaugural ceremony was led by Dr. K. Shankaran, Registrar of Amrita, who officially opened the centre. The event also featured a benedictory address by Swami Shivamratanandapuri, head of the Mata Amritanamai Mat in Tiruvananthapuram. Other notable speakers included Biju S., Kaliur Panchayat member and key university leaders. The centre will initially offer one-year diploma courses in various disciplines of sculpture and painting, providing a new platform for artistic education and cultural preservation. Under the university students collaborated with students from Ritsumeikan University in Japan through the Collaborative Online International Learning COIL program from April to August 2024. As part of this initiative, both students and faculty from Amrita University participated in the World Youth Meeting, WYM 2024, held in Japan from August 1st to 9th. During the conference, they presented their COIL project results, fostering academic knowledge and cultural collaboration between the two institutions. Doctors and faculty from Amrita Hospital Faridabad, along with students from Amrita University's Faridabad campus, participated in the India Medical Association IMA, nationwide strike. The protest was held in response to the recent violence against healthcare professionals, following the tragic incident at RG Car Medical College, Kolkata. The day's events began with a symbolic protest march in the morning and concluded with a peaceful candlelit march in the evening. The joining of hands demonstrated solidarity with healthcare workers across the country. On August 29, 2024, Amrita Hospital Faridabad's Department of Clinical Nutrition held an influential seminar titled Advancing Celiac Disease Care – Comprehensive Strategies for Healthcare Professionals. The event was in collaboration with the Celiac Support Organization (CSO). It featured esteemed guests, including Dr. N.K. Arora, Executive Director of INCLEN, and Dr. Sushman Arayan, President of CSO. The keynote address was delivered by Dr. Govind Makaria, Professor at Ames, and Ms. Anuja Agarwala, Senior Nutrition Consultant. The seminar covered celiac disease management in India, patient experiences, and practical tips on managing celiac-friendly kitchens. The symposium attracted over 100 delegates from various multidisciplinary fields. Amrita Hospital Kochi organized a free pediatric cardiac screening camp at the Amrita Vidyalayam campus in Ramanathapuram, Tamil Nadu. The medical team screened more than 200 children. Led by Dr. Krishna Kumar, head of pediatric cardiology at Amrita Hospital, the camp identified children in need of heart surgery or other treatments which will be provided free of charge at Amrita Hospital, Kochi. The camp was held in collaboration with Genesis Foundation and HDFC Ergo. It marks the 10th in Tamil Nadu as part of a broader project to offer free heart surgeries to children from various states. The initiative will be honoured at Amma's 71st birthday celebrations. Kerala's Agriculture Minister, Mr. P. Prasad, inaugurated a vital project to combat lymphatic filariasis in Chetala at KVM College of Nursing. This ambitious initiative is a joint effort by the Indian Council for Medical Research and Amrita Hospital Kochi, aimed at addressing the widespread impact of this debilitating disease. The project focuses on providing comprehensive care and support to those affected by lymphatic filariasis a condition that causes severe swelling and disability. The inauguration ceremony was attended by LF patients and their families, as well as nursing faculty and students from the college, highlighting the community's involvement in the fight against this public health challenge. The collaborative effort underscores the commitment 
of both government and medical institutions in Kerala to improving public health and eradicating diseases that affect the quality of life for many. On August 9th and 10th, 2024, Amrita University's Department of Speech Pathology and Audiology hosted the Epic Con Symposium, bringing together leading experts in the field. The event focused on advancing pediatric care through a holistic approach to assessing and managing speech, language, hearing, and feeding challenges. The symposium provided a platform for professionals to share insights and strategies, aiming to improve the overall well-being of children who face these developmental issues.